April just has been our nicest month, John. It really has. It's really dried out. In fact, it's probably drier than it should be. But oh. you know what? We've really uh, set the bar so high with all the rainy months. We have we have about four solid rainy months. April now has decided to take a, has been pretty sleepy, and now we're getting wind advisories, gusting north to northwest winds. Uh, for the most part, this is a repeat of what, exactly what we saw last night, so probably will not cause much in the way of problems. But of course, if you're on the 101 and you're up north toward the uh, the Gaviota Pass, you know that those winds can hit your broadside. We're also keeping an eye on, just like last night, our fog tracker. Many areas will get the marine there. More than likely, though, the south coast will be either last to get it or possibly not get much of it at all because of those northerly winds. And we have cooled off further from yesterday. We had a big drop yesterday from Friday for the central coast. Now everybody's getting in on that act, dropping even more from this time yesterday. So a lot of areas struggling to get back to, uh, even close to where you were Friday and not actually not very close and uh, trying to stay in step with even yesterday. We lost the 80s and now we're back into the 70s for even the warmest areas like Ojai and Paso Robles. Pismo Beach, a chilly 62 after yesterday being in the high 60s. Currently seeing widespread 60s and some 50s out there. Looks like Gaviota, uh, Goleta, the wind not really having a big effect on temperature quite yet. That might happen later and we got a 36 mile an hour sustained wind right there around the Gaviota Pass. Uh, gusts probably a little higher up in the hills. We have a hard time sometimes tracking that only in that because we don't have a whole lot of sites up there. So it is a little difficult, but you can probably assume that we have some pretty decent gusts above uh, the mountain line, uh, the mountains and just above the, uh, the coastline. 63% humidity in Gaviota shows you that you are drier. Everybody else though along the coastline is very saturated, meaning that we are expecting to see some marine there. And if you are traveling across the country, cold in the northern tier up around the Great Lakes. In fact, some freeze issues and even a little uh, uh, some snowflakes. Looks like though we're doing okay as far as severe weather. Yesterday's severe weather moving off the east coast, so that means good. It's going to be Canada's problem next, and then eventually Europe. There is a little bit of activity uh, around the uh, the uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama regions, so we'll keep an eye on that. But right now, everything is fairly quiet, and it's been a really busy, uh, severe weather season, so that's good news. Spring had a ridge. Now watch what happens. We flatten it. We call this more zonal flow, which is uh, very typical for this time of year, meaning that we are getting basically just everything off the ocean, generally coming from west to east. So everything out here rolling right over us. So let's go ahead and look at our, our future cast after we take another quick look at the map. And again, all rain, any activity staying well to our north. So we get the marine there, cold ocean, warming inland, and that causes that, that uh, the um, basically the attraction, the um, sort of sucking in of the ocean air as 